Registration of a death, in most cases, should take place prior to the funeral. A death is generally registered by a relative of the deceased or a person present at the death. You will generally need to make an appointment with the registrar before you go and see them. If you feel you would like support, your funeral director can accompany you to the registrar's office. The registrar will require information about the deceased, which will include the date and place of their death, their full name, the date and place of their birth, their occupation, their home address, if they are in receipt of a pension or allowance from public funds, and the date of birth of the surviving spouse if married. The registrar will also need the medical certificate of cause of death and the deceased's National Health Service medical card. Additionally, the registrar will also require the birth certificate and marriage certificate if these are readily available. The registrar may issue a green certificate for burial or cremation or a white certificate of registration of death in Scotland, which is required by your funeral director prior to the funeral taking place. If the death has been referred to the coroner or procurator fiscal, the registration process may vary. Your funeral director will be able to advise you accordingly. Your funeral director will advise you on everything you need to know about registering the death and the documentation the registrar will provide once the death is registered. You can find more information by visiting www.cooperativefuneralcare.co.uk.